Okay, get serious. Record. Top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jack Septicai and welcome back to another episode of Jack Talks Back! Yeah! Best vlog title on the planet! It has come to a point again in the week where I have no time to record Grand Theft Auto V or anything else for that matter. College is really just ramming me hard this week and I got a lot of stuff to get done and I got a lot of work to do and I got a lot of stuff coming up So I don't really have the time today to record stuff so you guys get another vlog of my beautiful face I do have holidays coming up soon though from college. I do have a lot of projects to do during those holidays, but I would also have every single day off and I don't have to go to college at all, so I should be back on track to make a lot of videos very soon and hopefully I will be able to get in and play Grand Theft Auto V online with a lot of you guys. I will put up another video talking about a date when I'm gonna set where everybody can come in and join in on the fun and that's gonna be crazy! For this vlog, I wanted to talk about some things- I didn't really have anything to talk about. So I took a topic that a lot of people keep asking me about, and that's the holes in my ears. People keep asking me, oh my god, you have holes in your ears. Jack, did you have your ears pierced? No, actually I didn't. Funny story, when I was younger, me and my brother were playing darts, and he threw one so hard- No, I'm joking. Yes, I did have my ears pierced. Of course I had my ears pierced, but not just pierced. I had big ass holes in my ears. I actually had 10 millimeter holes. 10 millimeter holes, not millimeter, millimeter. I actually had these in my ears. Oh, oh, through the eye, through the eye, through the eye. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. I used to have these in my ears, these tunnels. I did have big pucks, which were just flat discs instead of the holes, but I like the holes better. I had two of these in my ears. They're 10 millimeter earrings things and they like slot into your ears. Uh, you have to stretch them out over time and you who've never actually seen stuff like this, you have to stretch them out over time after getting your ears pierced normally. And it's really really fucking painful and you have to get these things that screw into your ear and stretch it out as it goes and it hurts like a bitch punching you in the ass after you got it waxed and you didn't have time to heal. That's a nice little visual there, isn't it? But I used to have these in my ears because a while ago I used to play drums in a heavy metal band. That was a lot of fun, that was a really good time and we went to a festival one time in England called Sonosphere. If any of you have been to it or know about it, it was a really cool festival. It was the first time it was on, we got to go see Avenged Sevenfold, we got to see Metallica, Lamb of God, it was fucking awesome. And I decided in my great drunken wisdom that I would go off and get my ears pierced because the singer in our band uh, he used to have his, have like, holes in his ears as well, and I can't remember back then if he actually had some of these, I th yeah, he did, he had some of these in his ears, and I thought that they were really cool. And I was kind of jealous, I wanted some for myself, so I went off and said, put some holes in my ears, please, and stick them full of goodness. But at the time, I was really drunk, and I decided just to get one ear done at the time, and... I figured, you know what, it'd give me a chance to like rest on the other side of my head and I wouldn't actually be hurting it every time I went to sleep. But I actually got the wrong ear pierced and I got... I don't know which one it actually is, I can't remember which one I got pierced, but apparently if you get one of your ears pierced on one side, it means you're gay. I don't know, I didn't make that up, I have nothing against homosexual people at all. Um, I'm not discriminating or anything, but people had told me, hey, you got that ear done, does that mean you're gay? I was like... What? I didn't actually know about it at the time, and I just said, I think it was my right ear that I got done first, I'm not sure. Um, but <laughs> I didn't know about that at all, I just got my ear pierced, and it was only when I got back to Ireland that people were like, Hey, <laughs> you got the wrong ear pierced! I was like, fantastic! And then it was about a couple of weeks later I got the other ear done, and then I started to stretch them out, and worked my up, way up to D's. Now at first I had planned to get 8mm holes in my ears, those were like smaller than those and apparently if you get eight millimeter holes in your ears and then you take them out they will close up but my no I had to go one bigger didn't I well two bigger I went for 10 millimeter holes and of course when I took them out which is about two to three years ago now I actually took them out and they never close they're like this forever hooray I'm gonna look like this when I'm an old man so that's that story. The second topic that I kind of wanted to talk about were comments on my videos. Yeah, didn't see that coming, did ya? Well, you probably did because I might actually have it in the title. If I did, that's bad, bad, badness on me. 
But more specifically, I want to talk about the bad comments on my videos. Now, I don't get a whole lot of these, ever. Like, a lot of my comments, a lot of you guys are incredible with your comments. A lot of you guys are just non-stop praise. You're always saying that I'm awesome, and you're right, I am. Look at this face. A lot of you are fantastic at comments. A lot of you just say nice things all the time. You are very hyped up. You, like, repeat catchphrases, and it's awesome. A lot of you guys, like, 95% of the comments are absolutely stellar, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. But the odd bad comments do sift their way into the whole comment section, and do you know what? They're actually kind of funny. Some people write down some bad stuff and they're like, You suck! You're so gay! You sound gay! Your face is stupid! You're annoying as hell! Like, pfft. I know I'm annoying! I pride myself on my annoyance. In college all the time, I'm so annoying. I'm loud. I shout at people, random people walking around. My friends are so embarrassed. I am the most annoying person on the planet and I embrace that! I found out that I was annoying at a very young age. I was very loud. I still am loud. I'm always going to be loud. I'm the loudest person on the planet and I say things at the wrong time all the time. But I've started to embrace that and you know what? Now it's just part of my personality. Just be the most annoying person on the planet. That's, that's what's my goal in life. If I can be the most annoying person ever, ACES! That sounds really bad when I'm saying it like that. I'm sorry. That really sounds offensive. You guys know that I am extremely nice. Like all the time. I'm always responding to you guys' comments. I'm always happy. I'm always bubbly in the comment section. I'm always replying to stuff. So, you guys know. You guys know. You guys know that I'm a nice guy deep down inside here. Right? Please. And I've learned to deal with those comments. I just say, you know what? Screw the haters. I'm gonna get them anyway. Everybody does get them once you get to a certain level of subscribers and views on your videos. People just love to hate. They watch five seconds of your video and they're just like, dislike, comment, I hate you, and they're gone on to the next video. And I really don't care. I don't have time for that shit. I'm way too fucking busy to be dealing with crap like that. But some comments yesterday, well, it's probably two days ago by the time you guys see this, it, they were just hilarious. One guy, apparently an Irish guy, he came into the comment section, he left about five comments saying, You're not even Irish! It pisses me off so much to see you pretending to be Irish. Your accent isn't even good. If you were Irish, you'd know that the Irish people don't wear those hats anymore. And, oh, those were just... <laughs> Bravo to that guy! I can't remember his name because I did not care to remember it because they w that was just stupid. That was a stupid thing to say, Of course I'm Irish. Like, what do you want me to do? Send you my passport? And the last little thing that I wanted to talk about was people begging for GTA 5 footage. Guys, come on, give me a break. I try and put out Grand Theft Auto 5 as much as I can, as much as I physically can record it and want to record it. The want is a big thing. The want is the most important thing because every single day I do not want to record Grand Theft Auto 5. I would love to be able to just bang that out all the time the way I do, but the more of it you record every single day, it just gets boring. I come into it and, like, today is one of those days where I don't have a lot of time and I could get in and bang out a Grand Theft Auto 5 video if I wanted to, but it's not going to be very good. It'll probably be short and not a lot will happen in it and my commentary won't be where I want it to be. So there's just no point in recording it. I'd rather record it when I'm at my best, when I'm at my most motivated to actually record it. But guys, Begging me every single time I put up a video that's not Grand Theft Auto 5. You guys saying, Jack, play more Grand Theft Auto Online. Jack, more Grand Theft Auto 5, please. I like that more. I know you do. I know a lot of you guys like that more. But I can't record it all the time. And it's comments like these that make me really scared about the future of the channel. The channel is growing fantastically right now. You guys know how happy I am with it. But a lot of it has got to do with Grand Theft Auto 5. And I'm fucking petrified for the day that Grand Theft Auto 5 videos will stop on the channel. It's not going to happen anytime soon. I don't have any plans to stop it anytime soon. There will be a lot of more stuff coming probably into next year and everything. Comments like these make me really scared for when Grand Theft Auto 5 videos will stop on the channel and they will stop at some point. They have to. There's going to be a point where the game is just going to be boring. I won't have any more stuff to do about it or I'll have done all the stuff that I've wanted to do. And I will have to stop recording it, but you guys are not making it easy for me to actually branch out and record other games 
and it's really scaring me to go off and record other games and then have everyone just comment please do more Grand Theft Auto 5 please when is Grand Theft Auto 5 coming back are you going to stop playing Grand Theft Auto 5 now I'm not going to stop it anytime soon but please understand that the channel has to grow it has to diversify it has to get more varied to attract more people into this community and actually comment and like the videos but a lot of you have been liking the Stanley parable that's coming up and I'm hoping to have one up today the same day as this vlog so I hope you guys still like that and I really appreciate the support behind that game but that does it for this vlog Jesus I talk a lot it's like been going for 17 minutes Yikes! I really wanted this vlog to be under 15 minutes, under 10 minutes at the best. Because vlogs shouldn't be long, it's just me talking a lot. But I will end the vlog now. I'm sorry that I don't have a lot of videos up today. I had no time again. And you guys said you wanted more vlogs, so here they are! Here's one, right here, this box. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And high fives all around. Thank you guys, I mean, we'll see all you dudes! And it up for the Next question! I don't know what these emoticons, the QA. Question here, I. I don't know, but it comes from Super Epic Face 96. He says, How did you get your name out on the interweb slash YouTube and the tips? I post on GameSpot forums a lot. I make pictures for my signature there, and they are a thumbnail, whatever thumbnail I use for my videos on YouTube. I resize that down, and I leave it as a 